From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and the mutable faithful. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two of are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged, for ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written, at least, that is what we believed, until you died. is that Alpha, Goran, could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Goran? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is, dead's dead. And be thankful for that, all we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other.
low so far. A long way from Ice Prime, too. Still, he's in better shape than most we see. All right, then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. They're all over. Run! Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! Child of dust shall escape. You! Up there, please help me! Please! More mortal scum? No matter. We'll all die. <sighs> Come along. Wait. I've seen you before. 
on the slab. You... you were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive! Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where, but your body was remade in the Well of Souls and somehow it worked. The well restored your soul to your body and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Professor Formerus Hughes, the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Oh, my. You don't know? Uh, perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tuatha Deo, the enemy of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they're here. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Let me get this door. And we can be on our way. Right this way. Uh, you go first. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention, the Well of Souls. Imagine an end to war, an end to death. the storerooms. See if you can find anything useful. Wait! Do you hear something? More to offer! You're going to need more than just that sword. That one had a bow. Get it? up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us.
Tigers are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. More up ahead. If you can sneak up on them with your daggers, you should be able to finish them quickly and quietly. You're still groggy, but just keep moving. Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. That's incredible! What are you? completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a path through. Not more spiders, burn them, burn them! <laughs>
Get away! The and in who's battle. this? They the That's steel. what I intend to find out. He came out of the well. What? We Praetorians are temples in battle. the old man. Quick! <laughs> ah, plate armor. Nothing protects quite like layers of impervious metal. This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawafa here. <sighs> oh. There's nothing more I can do except to stay here and slow down the Tuatha. But this is the armory, after all. Check the chests. We might have a few things that would fit you. With luck, I'll see you on the outside. Oh. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it. Leather armor is thin. Will give you the speed to reach an enemy's boat. Simple claw frees your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it. It. And look at you, even with all you've been through. The Tuatha, your return from the dead. Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alastar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the Well of Souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. I am Fomorous Hughes, Scholar of Vivification Prime Circle. We are standing above my life's work, the Well of Souls. And there's so much to learn about you, though. I, I imagine it's all a bit muddled. A side effect of the prisma? A shape of a basin? No, no. If only we had more time! Too much to explain right now. The Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're... Wait. Fascinating. Simply astounding.
I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should go see. Sir! Sir! Mr. Hughes! The Tawap have reached the lab! That inside the lab! <laughs> No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of Gorhold. Find Aga. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive!
I saw you fighting there. We could have used more of you. Did he really have a troll? I don't know how the Twather found us, but if they had a troll, it couldn't have been an accident. Fate was kind to collapse that doorway behind you, or they would have chased us into the glade. Fate weavers? Ah, charlatans! You swears by them, but I'll be damned if I trust my future to some cards. They're technically a type of wild fae, related to the fae of the summer and winter courts, actually. Dangerous enough in the wild. The Twather also use them in their army. They started building here when they found Prismere in the mines nearby. Never thought we'd see Twatha this far out west, though. I never did trust Fae to begin with. Or well, those Twatha are the worst sort. They waged some sort of holy war against humans and Alpha for years now. But the front's all the way out east. What are they doing out here? How did they know about this place? Good luck out there. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. When he started his experiments here, he asked me if they'd ever be successful. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but its success would come on the day that Hughes was to die. The old man took it pretty well, honestly, although we did a lot of drinking after that. You? You're the one? Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning... I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming.
What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threats, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes. Other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that, or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulvan. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. so close. Go back to your business. Go on. Nothing to see back here. Just a man working for his pay. We in Gorhart like to stay focused on our business. That way the face stay focused on theirs. Suits my needs just fine. It's remote, away from the shadows of the crystal wall. It's also quiet. Well, most of the time. 
If there was ever a reason to believe that Fay and mortals cannot live together, it is this strange and brutal war. The Alpha fight without any true knowledge of the enemy they face. I've seen this kind of conflict before and it never ends well. I'm so tired. Hi. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. Oh. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a Fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Hope you stay in town. Oh. Uh. Order that Matharu has given us. I see no order in obstructing the truth. That is chaos. That is what the mission fears. Help me to expose the mission for what it truly is. A prison of ideas in which they hope to keep us locked away for... Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the warsworn. Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. <laughs> Think if you must. If I'm not here, you could take your chances with old Tyne in Shieldring Keep without my endorsement. He'll set you to work. <laughs> I am Katrin. Do you require my healing touch in mind, body, or both? The Gnome's Tower stands to the west, past Gorhart and beyond the ruins of Alistar Glade. However, no one should seek Alistar. Its secrets should be kept. I am unable to watch while others suffer. Too many mortals have fallen prey to the Tuatha, and I could not stomach it. So I left my home in Rathir and travelled west. 
There are many Olmain villages just like this one, yearning for peace, crying out in pain. What good are my gifts if I cannot make what is broken whole again? Be careful out there. Are you content to live among the lives of the mission? They look down their eyes at you. They laugh at your ignorance. Mitharu does not dwell behind the mission's walls, no. She is in every rock and every tree, every bud and every stone. She is with all of us. May your hollow gods keep you, mortal. I am called Airy. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. Yes, I witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. Farewell.
Hey. Welcome. You there. Do you feel nauseous? Itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. It was an early version, unstable and rife with potential dangers. My hope is to develop a weapon that the Alphar can bring against our common enemy, the Tuatha. To say more would be to reveal my secrets. All I can say is that it involves lesions, goiters, and a good deal of pus. I do not deserve such good will after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnurfar Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it! It's the only way to keep us safe. He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Farhall, the Arathi Ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. Farewell. What are you doing down here? Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So? Are you foolish or just stupid? Oh, I see. The Twisted Gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir, where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. 
Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? It is time. <laughs>
Welcome to Gorhart. Everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend to this village and to me, Nanny Henry. Take this. It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. Farewell. You're welcome in my shop anytime, and please enjoy it. Goodbye.